All right, we're on the roof. Today, we're gonna be sweeping the chimney. Now, this is one of those things that is never fun, but has always gotta be done. And I wanna say, this screen is usually pretty plugged. We may have not been up here enough last year to plug this a lot. It may not even need to be swept, but it's kind of on my yearly chore to do list. So um, yeah, let's do it. We're gonna take the cap off here and then we're gonna start sweeping it. I've done this enough times to know that when I come up here with shoes on, I feel like I'm gonna slide off the roof. So this is a task I like to do in either spring or summer when it's kind of warm and just come up here without any shoes and I stick pretty well to the metal roof. So that's it, four screws and this thing just pops right off. Now, like I said, normally, on a normal year, this thing would be clogged up. I'll go tap it on the side of the house to clear it off, but um, it looks fine. You guys can't really tell, but it actually looks really clean in there. I probably don't even need to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So how this thing works is you start with this one. It goes in and I kind of like to go up and down the length of the rod. And then once I do that three or four times, then I'll add another length on and it just screws into the other end. And I basically do that until I start feeling like I'm hitting the fireplace at the bottom. section on this is the third section I've added on to here and I think we're getting pretty close to the fireplace at this point because on the second section I added I could feel the fireplace damper so that brush has to kind of go down past that. And yeah, we should be able to finish up the job on the third rod. So um, same thing. Turn it 180 degrees and go down again. Try to catch the other side of that damper. See, there's still some nasty stuff coming out and a little bit of soot from in there. One thing I always like to do is inside the fireplace, I always put a piece of cardboard to catch whatever comes out of the chimney. That way I can see. So we'll go back downstairs and we'll take a look at what came out of here. I'm guessing it's not very much, but we'll take a look anyway. Okay, so this is everything that came out of the chimney, and there's actually a lot more than I thought there was going to be. And I've had a lot more than this, too. So this is a good reason why you got to sweep your chimney uh, yearly, if not more than yearly. So I'm kind of crazy because I will bag this stuff up and save it in hopes that one day I will find a use for it. Uh... I've read online that you can mix this with water and um, use it to treat wooden fence posts. So I haven't tried that yet, but that's one thing you can do with it apparently. 
Um, if any of you have any recommendations on what I can do with the, this is creosote. It's, it's real nasty, fine stuff, toxic. In fact, I gotta go wash my hands after this. But um, if any of you have any ideas on what to do with this stuff, leave a comment. I'm super curious. This is like maybe a fifth of what we produced last year because we weren't staying up or we were staying up here a lot more last year. All right, that's it. Sweep the chimney.